Hi, I'm Joski here in San Francisco. Today, we're gonna go and see an amazing foundation and learn all about the inspirational program, Art and Film for Teenagers. Come on, let's go check it out. And here we are today with Ronald Chase. Thank you for joining us, Ronald. Certainly. Ronald is the uh, founder of an inspirational program, Art and Film for Teenagers, which I'm very, very passionate about and try to be as involved as possible with it. Ronald, please tell us, what inspired you to start this program? Well, it's, it, it's a program that comes almost like opening some kind of uh, flower or something. I had volunteered at a school here called the School of the Arts. I thought there's some way I've got to get these kids to take part in the city. So I went to uh, the principal of the school and uh, we decided we just had the kids meet, took them to a film that they wouldn't otherwise see, and we sat around and talked about it. We'd start there at the end of that semester we had almost a hundred kids because they told their friends, their friends really wanted to do this. We kept adding venues because we felt that that might be interesting for kids. Just by exposing kids to the arts, they began to understand and try to know themselves. Can you give us an example of well, one um, of them? Uh, we, we, sh we gave them a lesson on neorealism and we showed uh, De Seek is the Bicycle Thief, a very marvelous film. Well, you had to talk about the Second World War, the conditions in Italy. Uh, you know, what was it like to be really poor? These kids are very privileged. They, they, they need all sorts of experiences that they experience through film that can inform them about life. I am no longer the, the I'm only the founding uh, director of art and film. And of course, one of our students who came in when he was maybe 16, uh, he is the, C the new CEO. The programs that we are currently running, we start with a cine club on Friday nights. Each week we show a film and students have the opportunity to ask questions. It doesn't matter whether they liked the film or not, but to have a real conversation about what, what the film means to them. We also have Art Saturdays. We go to a museum, we go on a gallery walk, sometimes we go to a festival. Taking students out into the city, experiencing something, and, and again, you know, coming together and discussing it afterwards. We have our free tickets program. That's where we've partnered with the symphony, the opera, the ballet, uh, theaters, again, other film festivals. They give us tickets that uh, haven't sold. And we are able to fill up their auditoriums full of students. And then finally, on Sundays, we have the film workshop. And film workshop is really about teaching students how to make a film and then um, helping them produce those films. Uh, and, and that is uh, the one program that isn't free. It's the uh, only uh, it can program be that isn't because free. Because we have too many people that we actually have helping. But we do uh, need based scholarships. Obviously, we've never had to turn away a student. A lot of students decide, actually, you know what, the symphony isn't for me, but the opera is. Or the opera is not for me, but I fell in love with this artist at one of these gallery tours. It's not you have to do all of this stuff for the rest of your life. It's, it's discovering what is meaningful to you, what engages you. Making things constantly available that, that really affects kids in some positive way. Mm. Ronald Chase is amazing. It was great to speak with him. Thank you so much for joining us today. See you next time.